Hi, this is Matt Garrett. This is going to be a really quick video on speed profiling for WordPress blogs. Basically, I had a question, or in fact, two questions come in from a subscriber earlier today. Hi, Simon. Thank you. Uh, first of all, how do you know if you're running too many plugins on your blog? And the simple answer to that is you most probably are. Um, <laughs> pretty much everybody does, including myself. Uh, the couple of example blogs I'm going to show you in a moment do have too many plugins on and I need to tidy it up and cut them down. Uh, we get carried away with installing stuff and new tools we want to use, new things we want to do with our blogs, so you end up with too many plugins. And it is something you need to look at on a regular basis, have a run through, see which ones you're not using and get rid of them. Uh, and this is also, that the second question uh, comes from this, is how can you tell which of your plugins are actually slowing your site down? Now obviously nowadays site load speed is important for us. Google put quite a lot of uh, ranking power in that. So we want our pages and our sites to load quickly. And having too many plugins can be part of that slowdown in site load speed. But also particular plugins can fight with each other. Some take more resources, some uh, are particularly bad and slow the whole site down. But how do you work out which ones that is? Uh, and that's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at a site speed profiler called WP Optimizer. Now, I'm going to be totally upfront with you here. The guy that developed this is a business partner of mine. And if you use the link below in the description for this um, and get yourself a copy, I will get a commission. Um, so I am promoting this as an affiliate, but I use it myself and I'll show you why I use it in a moment too. Uh, the upside of that relationship is I have been able to get hold of a discount coupon for you. So leave a comment below and I will give you the discount coupon. If you do decide to get a copy to use yourself, then you can at least get it slightly cheaper. Um, so hopefully that always helps. Now it's also worth bearing in mind that WP Optimizer does more than just site profiling uh, to help you work out which plugins or which parts of your site are running slow. It also has lazy load images and optimized images uh, and bulk optimized built in um, and a whole bunch of other site speed up uh, features built in to basically help your site run quicker. But for this video, we are just concentrating on the site speed profiler, which is this page, uh, this part of the plugin down the bottom here, and it is the page that we're on. Now I've already run it so you can see what's going on. You get a very graphical representation of what is uh, taking time to load on your site. Uh, and if I scroll down a bit further, you can see that we've got all the different plugins that are loading. You can see I've got too many. There's a lot of plugins I'm running on this site. And again, remember running too many plugins isn't just about the site load speed. In fact, I've got 29 uh, activated on here. It's also about security. The more plugins you have, the more potential holes there are in your security for hackers to find. So the first thing I really need to do with this blog is go through that list of plugins and switch off any that I'm not using. And in fact, not just deactivate them, delete them so they're not even there. The next thing we want to do is look at the plugins that are appearing up at the top of the list, those that are taking more time. Now, none of these are actually taking an excessive amount of time. The ones that are taking the most are the security ones, WordFence and iTheme Security. Now, obviously, those are extremely important uh, with the amount of hacking attempts going on constantly against WordPress blogs. You need those security plugins in place. So that's not really a choice. And they're always going to be uh, some of the slower ones because they're doing quite a lot. Now, the next plugin is a classic example of why you need to be running a site profile, a speed profile on a regular basis, uh, say once a month. So you can spot plugins like this. For instance, WP Forms Lite, it's a forms plugin. No reason I shouldn't be using it, but it is quite slow for what it's doing. And if we look further down, I'm also using Contact Form 7. It does the same sort of thing. Uh, I think probably better. Um, I need to actually look at that. Now, I suspect I'm not actually using WP Forms Lite on this site. I just loaded it up when I was looking at the different forms uh, plugins available. And I believe it is Contact Form 7 that I'm using. Now, if I am going to switch off one of them, looking at this, that does affect my decision because Contact Form 7 is obviously a lot quicker at loading than WP Forms Lite. So I'm probably going to deactivate that and probably remove it, but I will check my site first to make sure I've not actually got something on there that I need to move over to Contact Form 7 instead. So none of the rest of the plugins on here are taking an excessive amount of time. Um, as I said earlier, the thing I should do with this particular block is remove any of those that I'm not actually using. But you can 
see how WP Optimizer will let you see exactly which uh, plugins are slowing your site down so you can decide which ones you need to get rid of to speed things up again. Okay, so that's a really quick look at the Site Profiler or Site Speed Profiler WP Optimizer plugin and how it can help you work out what's slowing down your site so you can get it fixed and get your site running as quickly as possible. And if you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, also, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like a copy of the discount coupon, leave a comment, let me know, and I'll get back to you with it as soon as I can. Thanks very much for watching.